Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Shanika and today I have a very lovely wind down yoga practice for you. This one is seated and it is meant to melt all of your worries and cares of the day away so that you can slither your way on into bed and into rest or sleep. So the practice does end in child's pose, there's no shavasana with the hope that your shavasana lasts eight hours or seven hours when you get into your, when you get into bed. I hope you enjoy the practice. There are no props required and I will see you on the mat. Starting in a butterfly position today, bringing the soles of the feet to touch, knees drop wide, and today we're going to bring our feet nice and close and towards our groin. Taking your hands, you can interlace them around your feet. And from here, you're thinking about Pressing your knees down into the floor. Inhale, nice tall spine. Keeping this activation as you bend your elbows and fold forward. You might need to adjust your seat just a little bit. You can also use your elbows to push down on your knees. It's a little bit more of an active, active butterfly. Gently rise up from here and extend the left leg out to the side for half butterfly, but you're keeping your left foot flexed and engaging your left kneecap. Pull that right foot in a little bit closer towards your groin. Inhale and exhale. So again, that leg is nice and strong. You're digging your heel into the floor as you come forward. So you can stay up on your palms or come down onto your forearms. Next inhale, gently rise. And you're going to bring your right foot out just a little bit from the groin. Bend the left knee so your left knee attaches to the sole of your right foot. And then draw your left foot a little bit closer and towards your bum. So we're in a deer position. Inhale to lengthen here. And exhale, twist over your right thigh. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to come down onto your forearms. Next inhale. Push all the way back up. Draw your right foot in closer towards your groin and extend the left leg back, finding pigeon. Pushing your left toes into the floor this time. Sprinkle your fingertips and square your hips up to the top of the mat. Inhale. Maybe pull your fingers back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Find a little bit of a back bend. And exhale to fold. Next inhale, lift the gaze, push into the palms, lean your weight back into your right hip and scooch back to center. At this time, you're bringing your left foot into your groin and extending the right leg out. Digging your right heel into the floor, lift your right kneecap, inhale and exhale to fold down the center. Next 
next inhale gently rise moving your left foot out from your groin just a little bit and bending the right knee so your right knee attaches to the sole of your left foot and then draw your right foot in closer towards your bum finding that deer position inhale here and exhale, taking your hands to the outside of your left thigh and gently coming down to the floor. Next inhale, lift the gaze, rise up, drawing your left foot a little bit closer and towards your groin as we make our way into pigeon. So straightening your right leg, squaring off your hips to the top of the mat, pulling your fingertips back towards you as you squeeze your shoulder blades and puff up through the chest, take a little back bend, inhale, and exhale to fold down any amount. Next inhale, lift the gaze, push into the palms and lean your weight into your left hip. Extend now both legs out to the side. Digging both heels into the floor. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold down the center. Those feet are nice and active. Kneecaps are lifted, so it feels like a little bit of work here. And on your next exhale, relax the legs, the feet, let everything become soft. And just notice if you can go a little bit deeper. Three more breaths here. Take a nice big inhale and sigh it out. Gently push into the palms. Swing both legs down the length of your mat. Inhale to lengthen here, bringing your feet about hips width distance apart, and exhale to fold down the center. Gently rising all the way up from here. We'll be making our way into a tabletop. So just spinning right around 
find your tabletop position. From here, you can cross your ankles. We'll be making our way into Melting Heart for just a few breaths, walking your hands out, keeping your knees aligned with your hips. You can come down onto your forearms and bring your forehead to the floor if that feels good. Or you can stretch your arms out totally, bringing your chest and chin to the floor. Gently from here, push yourself back up, walk your hands in, uncross your ankles if you had it, bring your knees nice and wide, bring your hips back towards your heels, and for today we're going to sweep our arms or weave our arms in between our legs, grabbing a hold of your ankles, and we'll start by bringing the right cheek to the floor first. And bringing the left cheek to the mat. And so gently unravel both arms, extending both arms out in front of you, palms face up. Maybe just taking these few moments to end your practice with a few moments of gratitude. Silence, breath. When you're ready, Slowly making your way into bed. Or maybe to have that nice cup of tea as you wind down for the evening. I will leave you here. If you did enjoy the practice, remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you back here again soon for another practice.